you are watching entertainment this week where we give you all you need to know in the world of entertainment today i will be joined by the goldfish himself who will be telling us about his fast rising profile as a creative person more on that after entertainment tidbits Family members, friends, associates, and admirers of the late Nigeria's Lady of Songs, Christy Essie and Ibokwe, will come together in Lagos this weekend to celebrate the multilingual artist who died on June 30, 2011. The highlight of the event will be the launch of her anticipated last album, All of a Sudden, due for release just before she passed. It will also feature the relaunch of her foundation, which was focused on her passion for children, the Christy S. N. Ibokwe Foundation. Music Meets Runway 2013, tagged Icon Edition, will feature music legends Femi Kuti and Two-Face Idibia on the same stage to thrill music and fashion lovers as the models trot on the runway. This will be the first time both artists will be performing on the Music Meets Runway platform. The event has featured notable artists such as The Band, Wizkid, Davido, Duncan Mighty, K-Switch and Bomber Boy. The Canadian actress accused of stalking actor Alec Baldwin has been sentenced to 30 days in prison for heckling him multiple times during proceedings. 41-year-old Genevieve Saborin was found in contempt of court a day after she repeatedly interrupted as Baldwin tearfully gave evidence against her. Baldwin denies having a relationship with Miss Saborin whom he met in 2000. She's accused of leaving up to 30 voicemails a night and turning up at his homes and at a public appearance. Miss Saborin, who was arrested in April 2012, is charged with 24 counts of harassment and stalking and could face up to a year in prison if convicted. Hit film Ghost is being adapted into a television series by Oscar-winning screenwriter Akiva Goldsman. Goldsman and Jeff Pinkner will write a pilot based on the 1990 film starring Demi Moore and the late Patrick Swayze. Ghost was nominated for five Oscars, including Best Picture and eventually won two, Best Supporting Actress for Whoopi Goldberg and Best Original Screenplay. The film sees a man who, having been killed in a mugging, tries to contact his fiancée via a psychic to warn her she is in danger. Its pottery wheel scene is among the most proved in film history. A network is not currently attached and no casting has been announced. Welcome back. I'm joined by Dami Lola, the goldfish Ogusi. <laughs> I hope I got the <laughs> pronunciation right. Yeah, you got it. Okay. You, got okay. It. you tried. <laughs> he is a fast rising, he's a very popular MC, a radio drama actor, and he'll be telling us some more about himself. But as usual, first we're going to be gossiping about what's been going on in the entertainment world. I'm with you all the way. <laughs> Let's gossip. Okay, so um First up, one day Cole and Don Jazzy's feud. You know, he quietly left Marvin Records and then now with his new single um, titled Babyface. Baby Face. Yeah. So Don Jazzy has revealed that he produced this a year ago. And it's like, is this like a trend? Like Don, um, the band left, Don Jazzy and the band fought, now one day Cole. Or do you think that there's some truth to what Don Jazzy is saying? You know what? You know, um, Tora, when I when I first heard uh, about this story, the first thing that came to my mind was, "Is on Jazzy again?" You know, <laughs> you know that's how we start the song. But you know, looking at, at what what has happened in the last couple, of, in, you know, it just happened last week, yeah. And um, for me, I think I stand on the part where I th where I believe it seems one day could actually did what um, you know John Jazzy said he did. Yeah. You know, because it seems a bit apologetic. Yes, like, in it, yes, in his not too, It's not like no, this is not yours. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, I took it. No, it was it was yeah. just in between and all that. But I actually think that Don Jazzy shouldn't have gone directly into just shouldn't have gone directly on Twitter like that. I mean they've been together for ten years. He should have called him something. and all that. Well, we don't know whether he tried to reach out and maybe he was being ignored. So he decided to hit him where it hurts. Well, that that's also a possibility. But um, following one day Cole's profile, um, something good has even happened to him. Or well, you know that after the after this saga since last week, um, Marvin Records came out and said and officially 
um, you said he has left their group and all that. But mm. recently, Glow also signed him on as an ambassador. See? So the guy left and actually got into Glow. But I yeah. think he did what he said he did. Sure. <laughs> for me, that's what I think he did. I think Don Jazzy just wants to recognize. He's tired of people taking him for granted. He's like, this is my sweat. I should be recognized for that. Yeah. So we should really be more careful. <laughs> it's not like before that we could just play anything and people wouldn't mind. Now everybody with the social media, your secrets can really come up and everybody will know about it. Yeah. Another um, feud is My Michael Ugu. He's crying foul after he was dismissed for misconduct from, is it Iroquin or Iroquin? Iroquin. Iroquin. <laughs> for, uh, these are, there's the sister company for Iroko TV. Iroko TV, yeah. Yeah. So he is, uh, he's saying that he has, he was dismissed unlawfully. So what do you have to say oh, about Oh, come that? on now. Every one of us, we know that that guy is a good guy. The guy is smart, intellectual. The guy has it put together. And in the digital uh, music industry, where Nigeria is going to, we know that that guy is a fast-rising guy. But let me ask you one question. Whoever fires a guy from his office for gross misconduct and you give him severance pay? I mean, I mean, I mean, if they fire you from where you work, I mean, would they give you severance? No so way. So there, there's something I think that's going on inside that Jason has, Jason and his crew, they've not come out to say. Yeah. I think so. And then the severance pay mustn't be big enough for him to be crying for. Ah, uh, you know, no, <laughs> and you know, but but I really like the guy. He's, he's very professional. Michael came out and said, "Look, if you have dirt on me, bring it out. Let's see it. I mean, if you want to go, if I've if I've stolen your stuff and you want to, if I've done stuff, open a sister company while mm -hmm. I was running with you. I have this. Bring it up. Say, sue me to court and all that. I think I think." I'll follow that guy. Yeah, we have to see. Maybe he's he the way he's so bold about it. That means he's he feels that he's innocent and that he's going to push this to the highest level. I so I would even follow him to push if I can get part of that <laughs> space. Seriously. Now, President Goodluck Jonathan has announced that he's giving two million naira each oh, to boy. the players <laughs> of the team of the Eaglets for winning the <laughs> Under 17 World Cup. It's really good to be a footballer right now. <laughs> but, but, but honestly, if, I, if I'm to if I'm going to be honest with you, those guys did us proud. Mm -hmm. I mean, those, these guys have made history now. I mean, we've won this for the fourth time now. Yeah. And those guys played hard. And now in, people are saying that, you know, <laughs> the <laughs> Super Eagles should, you know, learn from their younger counterparts, which I think is like, ouch. <laughs> well, well, it might be ouch, but I mean, elders can still learn from younger ones now. <laughs> And those guys scored 26 goals all in all. I think they did us proud. So I, you think I, the two million naira is worth it? I think, well, they can add to that two million naira. Really? Those guys, those guys did well. I mean, they, they played hard. They did well. Okay. I can even support you one million extra. Okay. He has said it right here on NT Entertainment. <laughs> okay. okay. And then Justin Bieber has taken to Twitter again. He's ranting about the fact that his record label, he feels that he's not being well represented by his record label. He says, and I quote, Wish Def Jam would work harder on my project. Labels are shady. I think that 19 year old boy, I think if, if I were Igbo, the first thing I would have told that guy is, Pachala and Yagi. I mean, that guy should be careful. I mean, come on. What he's I, what, just I, I mean, I mean, he's just I'm ranting. Venting. But oh. really, I think Jeff Jam, Jeff Jam has done a lot for that guy now. He's 19 years old. He's, he, he, has, he has come out a lot. The world is following him. He, he has a couple of albums. And on then the I think there are a lot of things going on in his life. He may not be getting the appreciation or the notice that he, he thinks he deserves. And he's blaming it on the record label as I, opposed to some scandals that are really coming out right now. You know, people can be... People can be fickle sometimes. Yes, <laughs> they, they, they can be, but I mean, I'd suggest the guy should actually chill. I mean, look at what happened to him in Brazil. One naked guy jumping up on him, mm -hmm. the meet and greet thing that people didn't get to see him and all. He should actually chill. And and uh, another thing we need to know is that is Music Mondays. I mean, it's it's not doing as it's not doing as well as people were hoping yeah. it would do. So, is I mean, he shouldn't just attack Dev Jam like that. Though he went to re erase the tweet, but I mean, that thing was like retweeted by just... five thousand people before yeah. he deleted it. So, <laughs> that should be careful. They should but... really be careful because they might not renew their <laughs> <laughs> renew the deals when the time comes up. And also, Oprah has decluttered her, decluttered her mansion by selling off. I just wonder what she means by decluttered. She's so she's selling off some of her stuff, and she's planning to use um, the money for her South African uh, the, the leadership academy for girls or something like in that. In South Africa, yeah. Okay, and apparently, that. it brought in more than six hundred thousand dollars. <sighs> do, do, do you know? Do you know if Oprah is still adopting children? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm up for adoption. I mean, $600,000 is like 100.2 million if you calculate it. I mean, that's, that's just money. 
According to her, she said that she's been she's been keeping stuff since 1985 and brought stuff from her, her Hawaiian residence, her Indiana residence, her California residence, and had to come and sell. And but you know the Halo effect now because yeah. it's uh, it's um, Oprah Winfrey now. Yeah. What what's supposed to be hundred dollars? You can't buy for one thousand dollars. It was touched. It was breathed upon by Oprah well, Winfrey. So <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> we will treasure this forever. Yeah, I get but, that. But at least you're using her fame for something good. Yeah. Which is uh, so uh, it's. Other celebrities, and including our home-based celebrities, should take a page from, 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 book, from yeah. that. But I'm proud of her for what she's doing. I mean, yes. that money is coming to you know better the life of some girls, in, the yeah. lives of some girls in South Africa. Mm -hmm. I think that thumbs up for her for that. Thumbs up for thumbs her. up to Oprah. Thumbs up. Um, David Beckham's son is also starting his football career. Okay. Like his father, he's uh, 14 years old right now, and he's starting in the same club with. His father started from from money. Man, so do you think he'll be as good as his father, or do you think okay, it's just name the name Beckham? Well, let 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 let's give him a chance. But you know, I I don't mean to be one sided. But you mean this guy is starting from. Manchester United, you know, mm. so there's a possibility that, you know, we my you people were just like that, so there's a possibility that um, there's a future for him. If he follows in his father's antecedents and his father's footsteps, I think he should do well. Yeah, I kind of I feel sorry for Brooklyn, that's Brooklyn Beckham, yeah. because there's so much, there will be so much pressure on him. Uh, there, like There will be so much pressure on him, he has to do well. Your yeah. father was kicking this way, you have to kick the ball this way, you know. I just hope that he will be able to take the pressure and realize that while he's his father's son, he also has to carve a, a niche, niche for himself. himself. Yeah. yeah, I think he should be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Mind you, is a, place, is a place to start. If I want to go into football today, so I'll go and start from there. Okay. <laughs> Someone is very, very biased. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me, Jerry. I'm, I'm, I'm ambitious. Okay. And then lastly, Facebook is planning a whole new strategy. They are talking about really getting into their users' heads. Now, it goes beyond okay, maybe getting information about their likes and dislikes. Yeah. They are going into um, finding out how, how many times, maybe how many times you make your status updates, how long your mouse hovers over yeah, certain that, icons. Or you know, it kind of is like more of a, is a, a way to predict behavior. Now, do you think this is a bit too intrusive for a social media network? Oh, okay, what, what, what I miss about that is, what is the purpose? The purpose is mainly to sell for, to, to marketers, I guess. Like, if you know what your likes and dislikes or know your behavioral patterns, they can now know what kind of marketing strategy to present to you and what kind of products to give to you. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful perspective. I, I, like, I like that. I didn't, I didn't even look at it that way. Though, because I was wondering from the perspective of you know, personal life and all that, why do you want to know how long my mouse holds and all that? But... Um, <laughs> I think to a very large extent, too, to a very large extent, it's a bit intrusive. You want to know everything I do so that you can use me as a guinea pig to market and mm -hmm. all that. While I think it's double-sided and they should be able to just find the balance. While it would also be good, you know, to help people know, okay, this is what these these are the things that people like on the internet. Um, they should also not in, intrude into our private lives as, as, as they have they have intruded already. You know, I mean, ah. too much. Okay. You know, people are so scared right now to go on Facebook. I find that people change their names on Facebook. They say you can get. You can get to know almost anything about anybody on Facebook. So people right now are so careful. So I think this one is even going to make make people to be even more what's what's the word now apprehensive about mm. going online. I think so because some people just basically live all their lives on Facebook. I mean, my sharpener broke. They quickly update it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, the water was cold when I had the bath. They quickly update it. So, Kai, I'm so I, I, oh, I feel so sleepy. We just put it on Facebook. It's true. So mm. that would be bad luck for them. <laughs> People are going to actually shrink back a bit. I think so. People shrink back a bit. Definitely. So we'll take a very short break to watch a drama featuring the goldfish. And then we'll be right back so that he can tell us some more about himself. All right. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Fairest be not, ye simple shepherds, for behold, I bring us unto thee good tidings of greatest joy, which shall us be to all peoples of the earth. For unto thine is birthed this day in the city of David, one whom shallest thou callest Savior Christ the Lord. And thus shall bearest it as a sign unto thee, for ye shall findeth the child wrapped in swaddling clothes 
lying in a manger. Um, um. Oga? Oga, sorry, oh. Um, you know, this um, language you just speak now, now. We don't, we, 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 we can't understand. Come to our level, sir. Please help us. Break it down, break it down. Father, I got to do this. Nathan, no worry. Eh? Even, even us, they tire to they speak King James English. But the Tori be say, the savior of the world don't land. Eh? Virgin Mary don't burn. Eh? And now for Una Domot, the thing they happen. Make on a no sit down there, they carry last position. No. This star, where they for up, you know, before decoration. No. Make on a follow him, go worship the town. Make on a follow him. Make on a follow him. Welcome back. That was a very hilar hilarious video. <laughs> Different. <laughs> you know, I didn't really expect the broken, the pigeon English part. <laughs> so, tell us about yourself. Who is Damilola the goldfish Ogusi? I knew you were going to ask that question. <laughs> okay, in, in, in short words, you know, Damilola the goldfish Ogusi is, you know, just a, a young man coming up, um, creative. I'm an MC, I'm a compare, and I do um, stage and radio drama. Okay. I, I'm a fun-loving person. I love to play. I'm, you know, I've been a jester since I was small. I like to play, I like to uh, make people happy. I like to catch my fun. I like to entertain. I think basically that's just about me. And um, I've been doing a lot of works here and there around town, around the country. And um, that's just me. And I know you're going to ask me where I got that goldfish name. So let me, <laughs> let me, let me just quickly tell you about okay. it. I know you were going to ask me. Uh, you know, when I, when I was small, when I was in primary school, me and a group of other boys went to do, I think we, I can't remember what we did. I think we went to the convent or something. We were not supposed to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I went with them, forgetting that I was this fair skin. So when the, um, the Reverend Father saw us, they didn't even bother to chase us. They just looked at us and just left. So you know, we ran away thinking that we had escaped. <laughs> All for them to just show up in class and I like, just calls me out and like, did you think you could run? <laughs> Don't you know that you're a goldfish? And the goldfish has no hiding place. So mm -hmm. from there, you just stuck and goldfish, so goldfish, goldfish. So he actually goldfish. has a, his, your name is based mm -hmm. on in a criminal, <laughs> <laughs> in a criminal <laughs> past. Why did, you, why did you have to see from that perspective? No, because this is the goldfish. Okay. I, I can't hide. Okay, so. I get that. I get that. And it's good for your line of business. Wow. So your fame will be like everywhere. You cannot hide. Are you you so, said so. <laughs> and then you, kind of, you mentioned that um, you you started doing this MC kind of jobs from mm -hmm. the age of five, as in you did, you... My first MC job, yeah. Your first MC job was at the age of five. So that's kind of amazing. So could you tell us some more about that? Okay, you know, like I, I noticed that all, like according to my parents and how I've grown up, I've always been a talker. Um, I think that's where my talent is right here. So okay. I like to talk, like to, you know, I just like to entertain since I was a kid. So my father told me that the first time I actually did an MC job was for one of his workers whose um, son was, that was his first birthday. So they called me and gave me the mic to, you know, do stuff and call people out and <laughs> yeah, what was next and all that. So that was actually officially my first job. And Why are you paid? <laughs> I, I can't remember. <laughs> my parents would have collected the money if I was, but I don't think I was. But okay. It's a passion. Yeah, I get that. And you say you do radio drama. You, 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 you like to make people laugh. You're an MC, a compare. So... Tell me, which one is your favorite? Like, I, which role is like the one that you really love to do? Um, I think the first for me, um, ah, which one is first for me? Oh, um, <laughs> mini, 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 mo. Okay, <laughs> the first for me, really, I like to act. Okay. So I infuse my acting into my MC. Yeah. Um, I, I like to be a professional MC and compare. Okay. That's what I am. That's what I stand for, being a professional MC and compare. So acting is my first thing. So I infuse the acting into my MC and I carry it as I do it then. 
um, radio radio drama. Luckily for me, I to God's glory, I, I I work for BBC. I work on uh, work for BBC. Presently, okay. I'm on Story Story. Okay. Um, yeah. Voices from the market. I ask mm. I act as Kelvin oh. on that. So that's one of the highlights. Then. <laughs> Couple of state dramas all yeah. around all around the country and also. Okay. Okay. Now, Dev, you feel you seem so at ease in front of the camera. You feel like very normal in your own skin, in your own skin. And it makes me wonder, like, as an albino, have you ever felt embarrassed, maybe standing in front of a crowd and all that? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry I'm going to do this to you. It's albino. I thought albino was the American. Well, don't I look, like, don't I look, don't I look like an American? You were colonized by the British. <laughs> yeah, I used to be. Okay, basically, I think be, being an albino, as I thank God for one thing. I grew up with a very, very healthy self-esteem. So okay. this has not limited me in any way. And I actually love this because if I enter somewhere, I mean, Everybody. people look at me first and, and I thank God God has cleaned me and up. So the goldfish, you, you know, you know, the you, you know everything. But <laughs> I don't feel, I feel normal in my skin. I feel good. I like as I am. Even if I come back again, I'd like to be like this. Okay. And I don't have any qualms being in front of the crowd. It's about you. It's from the inside. It's not, it's not about what anybody makes you feel. It's about you yourself. So okay. I feel good about myself and I love it. So do you, are you like an advocate for albino rights? What are albino rights? I don't know. Some people believe that uh, um, albinos are wrong, are maybe stigmatized, put down. <coughs> so like, are you, uh, do you believe in advocating for Okay, if you put it if you put it that way, um, because albinos are not disadvantaged in any mm. way. It's just a skin chemical that's missing, mm. melanin and all that. But um, I'd like to actually say this since I have the opportunity that people shouldn't look at albinos as different people. They are created by God. They yeah. didn't create themselves. So there's there's nothing at all wrong with them. So I, I believe people should actually give people a chance. But one thing also is that it depends on the individual. Mm. And I wish to get an opportunity to be able to speak to all the albinos out mm. there that you can be anything you want to be. So yes, don't I will support. Don't allow the color of your skin to limit you. No, no, no. There, there shouldn't be racism inside Nigeria. I want <laughs> black people. I'm a black man now. <laughs> you know, so. I get that. Okay, so let's play a game called Fun Facts. I'm going to be throwing a lot of questions at you, and you say the first thing that comes to your mind. Are you ready? <sighs> <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Phobia. Ah, Abuja Sonu. <laughs> This Abuja song is my, that's, that's, that's serious, but honestly, I'm serious. Okay, what do you do before you perform? Uh, before my performances, I'll be honest with you, I do a lot of rehearsals, I do in front of the mirror, I act, then I pray. Okay, then shoe I, size? 45, sometimes 46. <laughs> Height? I'm six foot three. Allergies? Um, allergies, I don't think I really, apart from, apart from too much sunlight, I don't think I have any serious allergies. Favorite yeah. color? Brown, 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 <laughs> brown, brown. Role model. Um, I like Vin Diesel. Mm. I like Vin Diesel. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Hobby. Um, hobby. I like to entertain. Then anything about cars. I'm, I'm a car enthusiast. I'm car crazy too. So yep. anything that entertains and about about cars, you find me there. Okay, crush. I don't have any crush. Ah, I don't have any crush. That's right not now. what you hmm. said. I don't have any crush. But I'm crushing. <laughs> There's one B A. There's one B A. There's one B A. You know Abby. Yes, I know. There's I'm so surprised you're not you're not bold enough to proclaim your love. There's one B A in the building, you know. <laughs> I'm crushing on B A right now. Okay. <laughs> Social media. You yeah. think is a waste of time or a wonderful tool? Social media right now is a double-edged sword. I think, I think for me, social media is balance. It's a wonderful tool. I mean, it puts you out there. You can do lots. Then you can get hooked, and you you just never you just never want to leave. I mean, you see people who are just glued to their blackberries and all. So and we they don't... forget to even relate to the people around them, yeah. and are more into their friends. Yeah. On social media, they are really not their friends. They are virtual friends. <laughs> I think the worst thing is people are not even people don't even spend time to think anymore because they are just on Facebook all the time and you yeah. just. So, but I think it's balance is what's important for me. Okay. Balance. So now tell us about your challenges, the challenges you face as a creative person. Um, okay. Um, the, one of the challenges that I think I face as a creative person is um, there are sometimes you have stuff you really want to do and you may not get that platform or you may not even get um, the. The, the, the wherewithal to do it. You have a big project and you, you're finding people who will support this dream. So that expression mm. sometimes and having people understand that form of expression mm. um, it could, could actually be a challenge and how to unleash that uh, could be a challenge sometimes. Okay. So what do you love most about your status? 
o status is that it's just me standing for the yeah, the celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what what do I like about it? Honestly, I'm going to be I'm I'm going to be honest. You know, you get you get opportunities to meet people. Um, maybe some doors open for you. Mm. You, um, I, I think, just basically that, and you get a lot of support. And you know, luckily for me, I'm the goldfish. <laughs> so, but sometimes also it's 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 a bit worrisome because you know I can't hide now. So I go somewhere and thinking I can chill. Then just hear someone just pass goldfish. I'm like oh my god, not again. So. But it's a great thing with, with its own opportunities and ups and downs. I thank God for it. <laughs> so, last question. You just talk. You tell us what you are presently working on. Okay. And then where you see your career going in ten years. Okay. Um. Presently, um, what I'm working on. Um. I basically run Goldfish Media Entertainment, and um, we do it. We do entertainment project. We manage entertainment, entertainment projects. Presently, we are on a project called uh, Whispers of the Weave. Um, free the artist. It's an art exhibition that's coming up in December, so okay. every, the whole world can actually watch out for that. We have some unique, we're bringing creativity in that we don't want to do the normal stuff, mm -hmm. so we are bringing visual artists and performing artists under the same roof okay. to do something magical in four days. Okay, then, visual and performance. Yes, visual. Performing art, artists. Yes, visual okay. artists and performing artists. We're bringing okay. them together. This is actually, this project actually belongs to Asa Barra Designs, but mm -hmm. we, we're running for them, so that's the project. We have a couple of other projects coming next um, next year especially mm -hmm. and we still have a concert in December okay. for Christmas we have other projects coming up and um, we're just going to come come out like that so we, I can tell the world that please wait for us we're going to actually entertain you give us the audience next year is around the corner okay. and about what I plan to do in a couple of years um, I look at I, I thank God for what he has given me but I'm going to push it to the maximum mm -hmm. I see myself within the next um, I see myself within the next five years. I want to host the Grammys. Mm. Um, that's, that's one thing that I really want to do. I want to host the Grammys and other international events yeah. and all that. Um, I want to go that far. I see, I see us producing movies. I see us producing science, um, sci-fi movies from the African perspective. Oh, um, it, 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 <laughs> a lot of other stuff. Honestly, it's, it's, it's going to be wild. The world can just wait for us and we, we, we're coming. Okay. We're coming. That's great. Some big dreams there. Again, okay, Go Fish, it was uh, it, an absolute pleasure having you on the show. I had so much fun. <laughs> trust you, trust me, me too. And I really enjoyed the story about how you got your name, Goldfish. I won't forget that in a hurry. <laughs> and remove that criminal intent from your mind. <laughs> and if I, I, I don't know if I'd said this all along, but I think I didn't say, you look absolutely stunning. I like the dress. You, Thank you, you, you. Look, you, look, you Thank look good. You. Right? I'll still spread that story, though. Well, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a honor being here with you, really. It's a privilege. I, I really Thank had a good time, too. Thank you. So, guys, make it a date again with me next week for all you need to know about your favorite celebrities on NTA Entertainment. Bye.